Vampire Survivors, the game that has no intro music or anything. It has a little jingle that it plays right when you launch up, like, dun, 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 and then it just stops. My name is Mike B.A.K. Phony. This game is called Vampire Survivors. It's $2.99 on Steam. It is the flavor of the month game. Uh, it's it's cutting right through communities like Wildfire right now, uh, just like Super Auto Pets did, just like... Uh, oh god, what's that? Um, 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 a wordle, I guess, on a more global scale. Um, just like Roller Coaster Tycoon, open open RCT for some reason, also burned through the community. Like, it's crazy. So this is another one, right? Uh, it's $2.99. It's cheap as $3, so it's easy for anyone to get into. It's dynamically listed as a bullet hell, and while I wouldn't necessarily classify it as that, it does tickle that part of my brain, right? Uh, you'll see when we get in. To me, it feels like, uh, uh, like a Tomb of the Mask uh, type game. I'm oh, sorry, not Tomb of the Mask. <laughs> Realm of the Mad God. Tomb of the Mask is a game Declan plays. Uh, and he's really good at it. Uh, but yes, yeah, Realm of the Mad God where you just basically trail around a huge army of just, uh, just non-stop flooding enemies, evolving enemies. You're upgrading, you're doing all this stuff, but you're just trying to basically stay away and continue to level up. And th then after the 30 minutes is up, uh, you, you die, and then that's it. You beat the map, and that's pretty much it. So uh, you have a number of people you could choose from, or characters you could choose from. Each one, you could see each one has a you know the character and then of course uh, and then the weapon so it's basically the starter weapon now each one of these weapons is available to except for the bone uh is available to anybody else um so we'll we'll start off with uh we'll start off with like pascalina or something or imelda um Imelda has a pretty basic starting uh, setup, but there are also, before we get in there though, we also have some power-ups here. Uh, I've already dumped some into area, speed, magnets, cooldown, uh, and I think that's it. Um, these, this is basically just some account-wide uh, progression stuff that you can throw some points into that'll just give you another a boost in game. So clicking on a couple of these to activate them is the same as receiving it in the game, I believe. So when you get the magnet, it's not going to be a rank one magnet. It's going to be like a rank three magnet or something. Um, so it kind of, I, I feel like that kind of keeps things up pretty, relatively simple. Uh, and of course, it just also makes replayability that much more fun because you can get back in here with a slightly more, slightly better build. Uh, let's go and, there we go. And then... Uh, or just refund it and try something completely different. Uh, any game that allows you to refund all of your talent points and just try something completely new, like Warm Snow that we played recently, uh, it's always a win. It's like, why Why not? Just just let us do it. Just let us do it. All right. Um, uh, wait, Warm Snow? I think that actually costs you a little bit of money. Let's maybe another game. No, no, no. That's another game. Heroes of Hammer Watch. I'm playing that one too. Um, anyways, so uh, Pascalina or Imelda? Hmm, Pascalina, because she's the, the, the one that I feel like uh, 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 is... Hmm. Uh, it feels like she's the most useless initially because you cannot control the direction that her uh, bullet or her rune terror or whatever it's called fires. Uh, it just kind of goes. So you just kind of feel like, well, that's kind of dumb. This is my initial impression last night. Uh, but then after you start to scale things up, then, um, well, then she starts to shine. Uh, now, again, any, any character can get this weapon. As a, not necessarily a starting weapon, but uh, can pick it up through this process, whenever you level up, you have an option to choose an upgrade or choose another item. Uh, for her, because I need something a little bit more directionality, a little more focus, I'm gonna go in with a magic wand. It fires at the nearest enemy, perfect. So, ooh, it's gonna fire, it's very wimpy. It's like very, very wimpy. Look, you, you can, there it is, wait, wait, right there, pew, pew, six damage, eight damage, pew, pew. Now your hitbox is pretty small. I uh, see, fire wand, ooh, fire wand's pretty good also. Let's pair that up. There you go, so now we got fireball. Where is it at? There it is, again. Very wimpy. You have to avoid all this nonsense. So this is the part I was talking about where it's like, oh, it tickles that part of my brain. It feels like a bullet hell because in a bullet hell, you kind of just reach this like kind of zen, like you're a one with the with the board and you see all and also nothing at the same time. You don't know you don't necessarily know where your ship is. You feel where your ship is, uh, and that's kind of the same. Uh, uh, that's kind of the same feeling you get from this when you're playing. Let me see, clover. Character gets luckier. Uh, let's see, armor or axe. Um, this is do armor for now just to give us a little bit of buffer. It also sets the game on that path, or for sets this character on that path, where I can, you know, get more and more upgrades for that to make it less useless, because initially, you know, all these things are kind of useless. useless. My one pew, my magic missile that does six or eight damage, the fireballs do really well, and those scale up beautifully and fast, so it's a good one to pick up kind of early. Uh, there's still a lot of synergies that I don't 
quite grass. Like there are some evolutions that can happen after you level up your um, the mouse. Uh, level up uh, certain weapons up to like max. In the upper left corner, you could see I have a number of slots that upgrade certain things, and it says I have four things available. So I've chosen so far. I have the Rune Terra. Um, I think it was what it's called the little uh, uh, diamond, uh, the wand, um, the mag magic missile wand, the fire wand, and then the armor. So and they all a number of upgrade slots. So uh, here I can say armor. I could, okay, let's go ahead and take it up a little bit. Just there's right now we're not getting hit a lot, so it's not really that important. But for later on, when we are going to be like kind of squeezing through some of these tight gaps, plus I'm going to be talking uh, almost the entire time that we're doing this, so you know, kind of want a little buffer for when I'm not fully paying attention. <laughs> Just a little bit, a little, wee little bit of buffer. So look at these diamonds that are right in the middle here. There's actually an upgrade you can pick up that will increase the range of your um, uh, of your pickup. Whoa! And you get, and it's huge. Like you could, you could continue again. Like everything else, everything scales to absurdity, and then it evolves into something totally different. Um, it's pretty impressive. There's a spinach uh, raises inflicted damage by 10%. And then there's a whip. Um, I would say, uh, let's see, pew, pew, pew. Let's do this one. This is all around good damage. Damage increase. What's our magic missile say? Nine. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Some food chilling right there. Just getting in range. Got it. Notice that the enemies are changing. They're also evolving or getting stronger, or they're just changing out to another mob. You get, you'll get, you'll get returns of the same mob later on. Um, uh, and you know they're just you know, stronger because they just came out later on in a, in a later wave. We have Fly Medusa head. Some of them are exclusive to this. Uh, actually, a lot of these mobs uh, are um, are only found in this map, which kind of makes things you know, kind of makes things uh, a little more interesting when you're playing over and over and over and over and over again because you didn't quite get the right build that you wanted, but you're so close. You should try it again, and then you end up going for a completely different build. <laughs> and starting the whole process over again. All right, let me see. I'm not doing a lot of damage here. I gotta start getting more serious about some more direct damage. My Rune Terra thing, I'm probably not even what it's called, but I'm gonna keep calling it that, uh, is is doing work. I mean, look how it just cuts through everything. Just cuts right through that crowd. Let me get in there, steal some of this. Now the game can get pretty, uh, I mean, pretty clench worthy. This is not like a chill. I mean, I think it's sense of like casual, like you know, look, relaxing game. It's not. It's not. You could play it to kill some time and relax. Rune Tracer. Okay. I was, yeah. Okay. Um, you could, you could just kill some time with it, but uh, it's going to be some intense time. Or it can be. Fires one more projectile. Uh, base damage up all the way. Let me see. Um, base damage up and effect last. Let's do that. I think does do really good work, and we should focus on getting that thing up because that's going to be a lifesaver. What's going to happen is we're going to find ourselves uh, probably pinned up against the wall or something. Um, and then what you'll end up doing is following wherever that tracer goes. The tracer starts, shoots out and starts, leaves a... Uh, uh, leaves a clearing for you you just dive right into it and go whoa and there's and, and a level like this where it's just non-stop wall on the bottom and the top you don't have the verticality that you'd want to continue moving uh, to get away from stuff let me see uh garlic candelabra i call it candelabra door um augments area of attacks by 10 percent hmm. um let's just uh geez. let's go ahead and open things up a little bit look at some garlic garlic just basically does aoe damage around the user, around the player. I guess you would be a user in this if you were just going by Tron rules, wouldn't you? Come on, let's go, let's go. Jesus, look at him. Um, uh, fires one more projectile, sure. I can always use one more of those. Pew, pew, pew. Let it just cut through everything. I need to look it up, but this music sounds, uh, there's certain elements of this, this um, soundtrack at the beginning. Which I, was it this song? No, this, I think it's the Forest song. It sounds like Ben Prunty from um, from FTL. Let um, me see, fires. Let me see. Yes, yeah, so I this. There was a speed boost in there, but I'm thinking I'm doing pretty well right now. Just get in here. I really wish I could get one that gives me a distance pickup increase. Ooh. That disco. That disco zap. Uh, I see fireball, firebrand, fireball. Make that thing do more work. Get all these. Yeah, that root tracer is just doing. Look at the, all this. All this is just basically the root tracer leaving, leaving a mess behind it. Uh, I see high damage, high scaling, uh, luckier attacks horizontally pass through enemies. Oh man, I don't want any of these. 
already have some directionality stuff. Let's go and get the X. Not really what I wanted, but that's all it does. It scales and it gets awesome. And it, we, we will scale it. I don't have to take it all the way up. Ooh, a chest. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is the third song in the game. Okay, yeah. There's like two little jingles and then like three songs. The more maps we unlock, probably more. Uh, cool. Room Tracer upgrade. What is it? Base damage up by five. Base speed up by 20%. Yeah, wow. Zip, zip. There we go. And there they go, man. Yeah. See, that garlic's really not... I mean, I guess it's providing some. Some... Uh, oh! Finally, that's my pickup range. Uh, it provides some kind of, of uh, defense when you get close. And you can upgrade this where you are just like a walking force field and just vaporizing things. That doesn't last long, you know? Like, obviously the enemies keep getting stronger, so you only have a few moments of just like, yeah, oh my god, running around doing stuff. Um, and then, you know, eventually they get strong enough and they just shit on your back. <laughs> right on back. Let's cut through this nonsense. Do, 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 do. Just here to collect all these. Let me go around to this. Yeah. You want to break those, um, those catalogs, actually. Oh, hold on a second. Hmm. Root tracer, base damage up. Okay, cool down. Pick up range. Just keep that pick up range up. That's going to be invaluable to us. Uh, but yeah, you see there's a candles, candelabras, other um, destructible items. You break them and they give you uh, food or some coin that you can use to upgrade later on. Um, or they could give you power-ups, like temporary buffs that are pretty crazy. Uh, let me see, a base area up 40%. Um, base damage up. Okay, let's go ahead and yeah, let's focus on that. We'll come back to the garlic thing. There's money right there. came from a candelabra that I destroyed a long time ago, I guess. What do we got here? Boom! We can listen to the song or we can hit the button. Skip right to the end. Ooh, an upgrade to our fireball. Fire wand. To base damage up by 10, base speed up by 20%. Excellent. Excellent. This little game, man, $3. Uh, it's like so highly addicting. It's always these little gems that just kind of pop up. The game came out in December, right? It's, it's, it's already February and... <laughs> like the game is just like taken off and that's just the way it is like um you know games that sit dormant someone comes across one they're like hold on a minute this is actually pretty fun and then that's it super stardom look at amogus <laughs> countless other games <laughs> look at wordle <laughs> i'm sorry the new york times wordle Let's see, um, 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 let's keep focus on the fire wands. Either one of the, I know one of the wand upgrades would have been really good right there. But the fireballs just, they, once they evolve, they're just so good. So we have to make it to 30 minutes. I'm not saying we're going to make it. I, I've only made it to 30 minutes uh, one time. We've gotten close. Lots of 25 minutes here and there. It gets pretty hectic. Um, but you know, until then, we just basically run around and kill things and collect upgrade and watch our rune tracers just cut through fucking so many mobs now let's go back and collect whoa explosions no explosions don't want that mm, we need more mobs it's not enough. Get close. Oh, oh that was within range that sucks Getting taken way too long for me to level up here. We see effect last 0.5 long. Okay, let's do this. I will. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna start specking into something else if I don't get. Like I'm not gonna upgrade my root tracer again. Um, or maybe I should. Cause I feel like I, I need more immediate and and uh, directional damage, especially for stuff like that. Like I need a whip or something. Whip's pretty good. You can upgrade it to the point where it actually gives you um, health back. It's a very Strider-esque whip if you ever play Strider. That big arcing sh 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 goes back and forth. Back and forth meaning left and right, so it's not necessarily just like an aimable whip like Castlevania. It's kind of like uh, Symphony of the Night where you kind of whip it around a little bit. Take it out, whip it around. Kind of getting close. Every little bit of damage helps now because we're start they're starting to catch up to me. Ooh, see this is where we're at right now. Where I when I said earlier, sometimes you're gonna be following your rune tracers. Wherever they go, you go. Oh come on, 
I need an upgrade, need an upgrade. Stat. Ooh. Fireball. This guy's big. Can I get that? You gotta get, you gotta get. Look at all those gems over there. I have to find a way back over there to the right. Okay, good. This guy is the only thing standing in my way. There. Okay, fire. Gosh, base damage. Yeah, let's do it. Go the right direction. Go the right direction. I'm not aiming any of this, by the way. This is seriously a one-hand game. One-hand game. Look at all these. Look at all these. This is where that distance pays off. Told you. Told you. Told you. <laughs> oh crap. Um, oh jeez. Uh, fuck. This is all like going really bad. Uh, this could get me more, but it's not gonna save my ass right now. There, my room tracer, go. Where you go? No, oh, come back. Okay, good, 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 good. Take a slide up in there. Get all these. You get that pickup. Oh, that pickup right there is gonna make. Did you, did you see it? It was glowing. It looks like my pickup thing. It's gonna pick up every goddamn one uh, within the entire screen. I think. Let me see. Rune tracer up. Um, all base damage up. That's what I need. There we go. Yes. Fires one projectile. Yes. Let's all that up. That could actually come in handy if we get that up high enough, fast enough. Oh man, we're not even close. This is, this is, I, I don't know how much longer I'm going to last here, but this is not even close to how hectic it gets. <laughs> if I tie right here, we're doing another one, damn it. Fires one more projectile. That scales nicely. Yep. Kind of aim that. No, no, you go back. You go, you go. Ooh, man, look at that rune trace. It just cut through everything. There we go. Food picked up. Uh, base area. Let's see, uh... Oh, the whip. Oh, man. Oh, God. That can really save me, though. Uh, let's try it. Let's try it. It may not be the right call, but it will scale again like everything else. It only goes one direction right now, so we're going to use it to, to run away from shit. <laughs> Look at all these. Go, 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 go. Let's see. Uh, magic wand. Base damage. There we go. Get that axe up. That axe. Look at it go. Starts to cut through. Oh, you boy, you can't really see it because it's kind of obliterating. It's it's, it's uh, not obliterating, but it's embedding itself in enemies super fast. But it will start cutting through. Uh, a few more upgrades. Yeah, it'll just like cut right through everything. Oh, there's a red one. It'll give you a lot. I feel like it gives you like a random amount of a lot. <laughs> Sometimes I pick them up and I level like three or four times. It's insane. Uh, let's see, magic wand, base damage up. Yes. Oh shit, oh shit, there's something over there that's glowing. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, don't kill me. Oh, it's one of those. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Pick up range, increase by a lot. Uh, reduce weapons. Oh man, that's also kind of cool, but base damage up. See how quickly this thing picks up? We were like eight minutes and we were just chilling. I was like, yeah, you can go pick up a little bit. We're just gonna run around and do some. Now, two minutes later. <laughs> Two minutes later, what is going on? And you gotta make it to H up for uh, uh, 30 minutes. Can't think, can't talk. Let's see, what is it? Candelabra. So that's gonna give us more base area damage. Candelabra door. Yo. Yeah, these, these um, whites or whatever. Like, I don't know what those are. Tentacle heads. Not the Medusas. The Medusas are the green ones. The other ones are... You take quite a few hits. Once, once that wave comes, I know that it's like... It's gonna start getting rough because... It's kind of one of the first stars. It's, it's like one of the major jumps that I've noticed in uh, difficulty. Come on, let's come right through here. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade it. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. way through that guy. <laughs> he wasn't dying, man. Oh, that bat. 
Or feel that. I'm so silly. Um, oh, past the joint. Oh, base area up. Let's do it. So I'm getting really close to these guys, so. I kind of want to protect myself, but if I can. Oh, no, I'm not talking. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Oh, no. Sorry, Siri just started talking for some reason. Just, just focusing on weaving and looking for upgrades like this, where the uh, can't lob upgrades would be. Good. Pick up range. Let's take that up again. Nice. Excellent. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> Base and fire one. Here we go. Speed. Yes, get that speed up. These are, what's gonna happen is this fire one is essentially gonna start um, kind of backing up the um, the rune tracers. So if you get a moment where like the rune tracers and your fireballs kind of go in the same direction, it just destroys everything. And it makes the path a little more clear. As you can see, it gets a little convoluted. <laughs> Paths don't necessarily look as clear as you would expect. Oh yeah, just cut a hole and just kind of squeeze right through without getting touched, no problem. Yeah, it gets a little more difficult. <laughs> Bad. Is it the same one? Probably the same damn one. Things never die. Uh, moment projectile. Yeah, do it. These guys. Like this. Let's do this. Let's let everything die. Oh, there's a red one there. And then we're gonna scooch in. We're gonna scoop them all up and get an upgrade. Oh, nice. Another fire wand. Base damage up. Do this. Oh, so much swooping. Swooping. Give me that. Oh, no level. Come on, give me a ding. Give me a ding. There it is. No, oh, give me a ding. Give me a ding. Uh, track door, spinach, all base damage up. Let's bring that up. Ooh, hmm. Just, just barely enough damage to hold these guys back. We're gonna go to the left here in a minute. There's a lot of stuff waiting for us over there, too. Oh, we got some green guys. I cut through the green guys pretty fast, I believe. One more, mm, damn. So one more AOE upgrade would do it. Uh, Axe will do that. That'll help us some. Yeah, one more garlic upgrade. I think I would be able just to walk through this pretty easily. It was pretty like this. Dang, dang. Oh, 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 no, let me get through. Magic wand, pass through one more enemy. Yeah, uh, oh, 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 come on. Okay, yeah, let's see if we can test that now, now that I said that, and I got it. Okay, well, maybe not as much as I hoped. Oh, gosh. Okay, not those guys. But, yeah, no, it's, it's working. It's working. It's working. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, oh, one more whip. Yeah, please. One behind me, too. It'd be great. Okay. Um, Root Tracer's uh, fireballs went down here, looks like. <laughs> Another upgrade. That's one more enemy. Here, 15 minutes. This is about what I was averaging. Uh, I, well, in most games, I'll just get in. You know, you'll make some dumb decisions. You get about 15 minutes, and then um, I don't know something clicked, and then after that, it was like 25 minutes average run. Maybe I just stop picking bad. You know, <laughs> just stop making really bad picks. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Ooh. Evolved fire wand. Pass it through enemies finally. It requires spinach. So you see, you need I need to get the spinach in order to unlock that. The evolution. So now my fireballs gonna look totally different. They just they just cut through everything. Uh let me see. Hollow heart. So we keep on maxing out this guy. And then I think I have to get yeah, I'll have to start get find, getting some other weapons. Uh, unlocked so I can start getting more synergies I guess that's the part that I'm still learning right is like how exactly to unlock certain synergies it's gonna be like 
unlock this one thing and this thing, and then eventually you'll get one high enough and you'll be able to unlock Synergy X or Y, depending on which one it is. Oh, man, these guys. Okay. Um, let me see all base area up. Okay, let's do that. Look how big that, that AoE is now. Come on, Medusa. Come on. I'm trying to keep her the closest here so I can just keep her, keep her in check. We got oh some more some more uh spinach all base damage up sure we'll take that make it a little bit easier to walk through here remember the first guys were dying uh at like eight damage <laughs> just to give you an idea of how how quickly this uh this can scale up over time and how much more damage we're doing here like i'm doing like eight uh, like five or eight times the damage. Oh, oh no, 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 oh no, no, no. Oh, that thing's gonna make everything disappear. And I wanted to wait until more guys were in range. It's fine, it's fine. Basically, free upgrade almost. Free level. Look at my fireballs. Damn. Mm, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Right here. Uh, let's see, base damage whip, let's see cooldowns, put the cooldowns down. Cooldowns down, yeah. Let's lower our cooldowns. Attack faster. Slowly, slowly. Oh, no, 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 no! Yeah, those green guys. Just, there are lots of them, but they just have no help. Like, every green guy I feel like has the same, like, general scheme. Like, just be really delicate, I guess. <laughs> they just explode. Yes, yeah, right up in here. I thought I had more things, more gems laying around over here. Come on, come on, axes, come on, axes. Drop those chests. I'm sure you guys have noticed. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably already played this game. You're just waiting to see how much better you are than me. Huh? Huh? Well, guess what? Well, guess what? We'll find out. I'm not entirely sure. I feel like I'm in tune with this, but you never know. Shit can go awry very quickly. <laughs> Pick a brain 20%. We can make dumb decisions like this. <laughs> Let's get greedy. My pickup range to be the whole whole map. Anywhere an enemy dies, it's like a gem flying at me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Gonna wait until we get this thing down. It's preventing from going to the left. <laughs> Guys on the right, no problem. See, basically take care of himself, the guys on the right. Damn few on the left. Come on. Come down a little bit too. God, oh man, I can't wait to go to the right. I can't wait to just move. We're gonna get a huge push here soon. They got 20 minutes. Very risk of rain. You know, they get their town. We grab all these. Uh, <laughs> uh, the greed, greed. I want it. Oh. <laughs> what do we got here? Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, ooh! It's a, it's a magic missile evolution. Fires with no delay. I gotta see this. <gasps> damn, damn. Oh man. Well, we got like three seconds. I think something's gonna happen, right? That no, works. Okay, now we got skellies. Skellies are pretty pretty lightweight. They're just gonna bounce off my shield, no problem. My uh, shield of garlic. Let me see. Where do you see? There go. There's a red over there. Let me get that. Just let my fireballs cut our way through. Mm -hmm. 
bet this thing looks like shit on streams. Haha, <laughs> I see cooldown reduction again. No fire room one projectile. Let's get, let's get these axes up to snuff. Those are gonna be lifesavers. Especially if we get pinned to the bottom, because all the axes go up. And they, uh, kind of get immediate. Well, you'll see when they evolve, but, uh, initially it's really good. Just kind of chilling down here and just trying to slowly work your way back and forth. Thankfully, we're doing pretty well. We just gotta really walk. A lot of times I find myself pinned against the wall or the, uh, bookshelf. Trying to survive, man. Another minute here. One. Great soundtrack for as few songs as they have. Uh, garlic. Sure, yeah. Why not? It's not not helping us. We'll do that. Let's come around, and take care of all these guys. We'll just walk right through it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. A little cocky. Fine. Notice that I'm picking up like like almost everything that comes on on the screen. Like as it comes on, look at it right there. Look at that. That's like a quarter screen away, something like that. Quarter screen, almost a uh, third of a screen. Nah, man, nah, nah. Pew 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 pew. Magic missile. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Let's stay here for a second. Uh, cooldown reduction. Shoot faster, everything faster, everything faster, everything faster, everything faster. There we go, there we go. Whoa, 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 okay, okay. Did a weird thing when you vaporize. Uh, oh, hey, I got a book. Oh, does this increase my cooldown? Oh, another 8%. Okay, another 8%. Nice. Re upgrade. We were gonna take that anyways. The pulsing, the thrown items, everything, right? Everything gets sped up. Breakneck speed. Look at it. Axes everywhere. This mess. Okay, almost, almost, almost. Oh, surrounding, surrounding. Oh, they think they got me here. Ain't happening. 23 minutes. Still going strong. Mm -hmm. Just a little zig and a little zag. Oh, oh the face. Okay, what we got? Garlic. Let's do it. Come on, garlic. Come on, garlic. Go start making our way up a little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. guys, get too close. Yeah, there's no following anything right now. The fireballs, sure. When they go out, we could probably go that direction, but they're not. They're not one shot in anything. They're doing work, but they're not. Mm, not one shot too much, I don't think. I need to find health though. So look at the outskirts of the um, of the map here because I pick up range is so big, so. I guess I just keep moving to the right, I'll eventually find food, right? Go to the top to see, then go to the bottom to see. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, come on, I should be come on up, dude. Come on! Nice, wow. That's a good speaking motion. Man, I play so much more with the Mad God back in the day. Standalone. <laughs> Back from all games for standalone. <laughs> Base damage up. Um, yeah. See how remember the use of stacks were? Man. Uh oh. They're making a big push here. They're making a big push. This is where I get pinned. Or maybe not. I can slowly, slowly push them away. Slowly push them away. Make my way. Follow it, follow it. Oh gosh. Follow the axis, follow the axis. There we go. There we go. Look at that. We'll come up here on the top side. Defend our position. As best we can. It's not gonna last. It's not gonna last. We need more. <laughs> so we need to get all of this. Uh, oh man, none of these are good. Oh, sucks. Okay, take this. None of these are gonna help us get out of this mess. We definitely don't have another. Can we? Can we? Can we? Slowly inch our way. I don't want to leave this. I'm very well protected here. Gotta aim those axes. Right, 
right when they fire, you can kind of move over. Oh, there's a fucking boss there. That's gonna change everything. Um, uh, this might give me what I need. I'll base area up to... Just give me a little bit more push, perhaps? Nope, vaporized. <laughs> <laughs> 25 minutes! Dang! Hey, that was pretty good. Uh, a lot of achievements. By the way, if you're somebody who's a completionist, this is a, like most of the achievements in this game are very easy to get. Just a few hours of gameplay. Uh, there might be some that are that are difficult to get, uh, but if you're somebody who just likes to collect a whole bunch, just have like a you know, huge number. There's like 40 of them. I'm already up to like 30 something. Um, so we click on done. Oh, this is your cheat, by the way. It kind of breaks everything down. Much gold I earned, level reached, all that stuff. Um, let me see. Fire one, magic one, rune tracer, uh, garlic axe, and I could I could totally just sit down and play another one right now. Like it's that that run it was 25 minutes and it's just like sure let's do another let's go again let's go again very 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 addicting game um and we go back to the main menu here and we have 1380 that we can go and we could spend i've already unlocked all the available characters i'm um, maybe one of go um, maybe there's one that will show up after i um complete another map or something um there is a hyper mode that so you could go and choose an uh choose a character and then you could go, um, once you beat a map you unlock hyper mode hyper mode basically is just plays i think it feels like it's about 50% increased speed. Uh, the music plays, um, you know, at a higher pitch and at a faster rate. Uh, and, and But the timer still is the same. The timer doesn't go more quickly, I don't think. Um, but yeah, if you just want more of a challenge or if you just want to farm out stuff like really fast, farm out some money or something, that's probably a good way to do it. But but hey, that's um, that's that's Vampire Survivors. You know, it's just hot shit right now. You should probably check it out if you haven't already. Don't be the last one. Uh, <laughs> My name is Mike B.A.K. Phony. Thank you so much for watching.